In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play background rhythms to tunes like Dust My Broom, Sweet Home Chicago. These are both in the key of D. All right, so let's go to Chicago. We're going to stay in the key of D. You can use the same background rhythm chords that you played on the other tracks. Um, just move them up to D. So now we have D7, G7, and A7. All right, there's another way to finger the A7 up here when your fingers get kind of tight. And I use the C7 form. And I use that on the last measure. You'll see what I'm talking about. Here we go. I'm going to play a rhythm track with this. You're only hearing the upstrokes. same shuffle rhythm I used uh, on Kansas City where I'm dampening the chord uh, on the downstroke and then after I strike the chord on the upstroke I'm actually dampening again by letting off with my left hand so it sounds like this with the upstrokes if I let the chord ring it sounds like this but if I barely strike it and let off with my left hand, but I'm missing that downbeat, so I play the downbeat in a rhythmic way by striking. I'm hitting my strings like this with my right hand. I'm palm muting with my right hand as I'm striking down. When I strike up, I'm taking my hand off. And then when I want the chord to not ring anymore, I let up with my left hand. Now, another rhythm style that you can play in that song that works quite well is an alternating root fifth and sixth that sounds like this. You see my fingers a little closer. I've got my finger on the bottom string and on the fifth string and I'm alternating with my pinky finger. I can move that up a string and do the same thing for a G. And then two frets higher I get my A, five, and six. And there's my G. And then I go back to D. Now there's a walk up you can play also at the end that would go. And you can do that as well. So when you add that rhythm style to the song, it really does a great backup. Just striking my two bottom strings, now I'm 